Car traveling at constant speed passes a stationary motorcycle at a traffic light. As the car overtakes the motorcycle, the motorcycle accelerates uniformly from rest for 10 seconds. The following position timing graph represents the motions of both vehicles from the traffic light onwards. So use the graph to find the magnitude of the constant speed of the car. Now, if I want to represent the case using a space reference and representing the points, okay, you can see that both cars started moving from the origin of the space reference because their initial position is x equals 0. So if this is the x-axis, and this is the origin of the x-axis of the space reference O. Both uh, vehicles started moving from the same position, but differently. So uh, initially, uh, the the initially the okay the car moved at a constant speed. So V car is constant, and as the car overtakes the motorcycle, the motorcycle accelerates uniformly from rest for 10 seconds. So you know now that V for the motor, initial speed for the motor is zero meter per second. And it accelerates uniformly. You are given that it's uniformly accelerate, uh, accelerating. Okay, so this is UARM for the motorcycle. It's U A or uh, for 10 seconds the following position time a graph represents the motion of the vehicle. now part one use the graph to find the magnitude of the constant speed of the car whether they mention that the speed is constant or not you have to know this because the graph of x versus t is an increasing straight line and based on your required knowledge you know that x versus t is increasing straight line if uh, yeah, the motion is urm so now we want to find the constant speed what can we obtain graphically? Graphically, we can find the initial position of uh, the car. We can find uh, uh, the, the distance covered by the car after a certain time. Okay, so let's start by making use of the time equations that we know. You know that for URM, for uh, URM, car hala URM, x is equal to vt plus the initial position okay plus the initial position Hala, it happens here that the car started moving from the origin so the position at a certain instant also represents the distance covered like for example if i consider a, another position here at t equal let's say 5 for the car so x5 minus x naught is equal to distance covered from the beginning of motion Okay, so it, it doesn't differ. So here we have x equal vt plus x0. We can substitute. Okay, x equal uh, initial position for the car is equal to 0, as you can see. So this is 0. We are left with x equal vt. Now I want v. If I look at the graph, I can find a point whose coordinates are known. What are the coordinates? Are the x and the time? So v, if I divide both sides here by uh, t dividing by t dividing by t, only for more mathematical details. Okay, you have that v is equal to x over t. Check any point that belongs to the graph of the car. So if I check this point for the car, this point at t equal 10 seconds, x equal 300 meters. So 300 meters over 10 seconds, which is equal to uh, 30 meters per second. Now you could have thought about it differently, like instead of expressing position, you can say, and V is equal because this is URM only because this is URM V average speed is equal to instantaneous speed if you remember that you have to refer to the course so because of that we can make use of uh, of the rule of V average okay so V average is D over Delta T V average during the first 10 seconds Again, 
the because it started from the origin as I mentioned before and now it's 300 meters away from the origin so the distance covered is 300 meters okay. which is equal to 30 meter per second then you have to mention that since this is URM so V average is constant yeah, and it's equal to V instantaneous he constant constant which is equal to what in this case 30 meter per second all right so either by referring to the time equation and substituting it as x and yani as position and instant or referring to the average speed and substituting distance and the duration now part two verify that the magnitude of the acceleration of the motorcycle for the first 10 seconds of its motion is 7.5 meter per second squared okay so now again because we have the graph of x versus t so we have to make use of the position time equation okay for u a r m for sure so because motorcycle as it's given and you know, uniformly uh, accelerated uh, motion a linear motion so because this is u a r m we have to apply the rule of x equal half a t squared plus v zero t plus x zero by zero here we mean the initial speed and the initial position we are given that the motorcycle started moving from rest this means that the initial speed is zero meters per second so this term is zero and graphically you can see that the graph of x versus t also is represented starting from the origin so again also x initial position is equal to zero we are left with x equal half 80 squared okay we are looking for a if there is a point whose x and t are known then we can substitute and solve the equation for a so this could be expressed as if you go for the motorcycle this uh, for for x equal or for t equal uh, 10 seconds okay for t equal 10 seconds x for the motorcycle is 375 meter so do the substitution 375 meter is equal to a over 2 half a means a over 2 multiplied by t squared 10 second squared okay so 375 is equal to 100 over 2 s squared times a yeah and it's equal to 375 meter equal to 50 second squared times a but we are looking for a divide both sides by 50 squared over 50 squared okay. 50 and 50 cancel a is equal to using your calculator now 375 divided by 50 is equal to 7.5 so this is 7.5 meter per second squared okay. 
type. Now, how long will it take the motorcycle to catch up with the car? Deduce the value of x. How long, yani for the time? We're looking for time. Deduce the value of x. x is, what does x represent? Let's go to the graph of x versus t. You have that the position of, or the graph of x versus t for the motorcycle is a parabola, and that for the car, is a straight line but you can see that they are intersecting at a certain position at a certain time they meet so this what the you know, mathematically you can see that the graphs are intersecting at a certain point but what does this mean physically in real life this means that at a certain instant t the motorcycle and the car catch up together and you know, they they are uh, they reach the same position so now the question is how long Will it take the motorcycle to catch up means to be at the same position with the car? Okay, so how can we solve such type of problems? So now for part three, for part three, you have to say, you know, they reach the same position. This means that x for the car should be equal to x of the motorcycle. X of the motorcycle okay so how should it be solved I have to substitute uh, the time equation of each one of them X of the car uh, is X equal VT plus X zero okay we said that X zero is zero so actually it's X equal VT and V is calculated to be 30 meter per second so now I can write the, uh, the, the position time equation of the car as 30 as long as it's in the SI unit 30t because x0 is 0 equal x of the motorcycle is again also because we have the initial speed 0 and x0 so the general equation is actually x equal half a t squared and a is calculated in this part 7.5 meter per second so now I can write that for x for motorcycle it's half into 7.5 Command given in the SI unit times t squared. Okay. So now solving it, 7.5 over 2. This is equal to 3.75 t squared. 3.75 t squared equals 30 t. Okay, solving the equation, we can get, and you know, we can get a 30t minus 3.75t squared, moving it to the other side, becomes minus, equal to zero. We have to factorize to find the solution. Take t in common. We have a 30 minus 3.75 t is equal to 0 so either t equal to 0 which is uh, true and they started from the same origin so this is not what we are looking for we are looking for the other time at which they meet uh, or this whole factor is equal to 0. So we get that 30 minus 3.75t equal to 0 means that if this is equal to 0, then 30 is equal to 3.75t. Now t is equal 30 divided by 3.75 And you get the answer. 30 divided by 3.75 is 8 seconds. So x here, the unknown time, the unknown instant t here is 8 seconds. So t, x, they called it x, is 8 seconds. And this is uh, accepted because you can see that it, it belongs to the interval between 5 and 10. So 8 is greater than 5, less than 10, close to 10. So